Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Battle Brothers. So we're here at Wickstat. Um, they have a level 2 contract for us, which we might take, although... How are we looking? Yeah, we're not looking too bad, although our morale could use some work. Um, is there a tavern here? There is. Alright, let's... There we go. People are less disgruntled now. Also, Balder is drunk, which is not ideal, but um, such is life. Now... Ooh, they will give us a very good price for tools. I like that. Okay, let's get rid of some stuff here, because we're carrying it. Well, I don't need a wooden stick. Um, we'll hang on to the daggers, because those could be useful. Um, a kind of badly damaged bludgeon. I have to get rid of some of this stuff. God damn it. Oh, I'm such a hoarder. All right, let's get rid of... I'll ditch one of these two-handed axes, I guess. And this ancient auxiliary shield that's kind of beat up. Oh, I want to keep all of it, though. Get rid of these short bows. There we go. Okay, so now we can get ourselves some tools. We've still got money to pay our guys for a day, which is good. Um, we have a day of provisions as well, so I'm not going to worry about that either. And we have this leather cap that I should give to somebody. Probably Hildebert. There we go. Because that's going to be better than his Acton cap, right? Yes. I was correct. Hang on. Why are you wearing such a nice hat, Roderick? You don't need it. There you go. That's better. Um, is there anything else that I can give to people? Do all my screenshot guys have axes and knives? You don't have an axe. All right, take that. Um, Hildebert could use something to use against shields. You can have this reinforced flail, I guess. There we go. That should sort it. Now, what is this contract? Something we can do in a day, I hope. He wants a caravan escort. 890 crowns. Where do you want me to go? I don't think he ever said. 930 crowns. Summerstad in the northeast. Hey. Summerstad is far away, isn't it? Oops, unpaused. Summerstad is... All the way at the top of the map. There is... Well, I mean, it's a caravan escort, so we don't need to worry about provisions. But we would need, what, three or four days worth of crowns to make it there? And I, even if we sell, like, our entire inventory, which might actually be worth it, because he is paying us pretty handsomely. Yeah, even if we sell our entire inventory, we're not going to make that, so unfortunately I'm going to have to pass on this one. Ah, 930 crowns, though. Alright, well, where else can we go? Cobbenhaven. Ooh, big harbor city. Alright, why don't we make our way over there? We'll head to Sankai and then to... I'm not even going to try that one. And then down to Cobbenhaven. Ah! Oh! What is this contract? Summerstad, again. But he's paying us less. But he's giving us some in advance. Uh... Mm, still think we're going to need to pass on that. But they have another contract available, which could be... More up our alley. We also kind of need money, because we're running out of time here. He wants me to hunt down monsters, I think. Yes. Okay. That shouldn't be too bad. We can do that. 120 crowns in advance. Another 4 and 7 job is done. That is basically perfect, but if we could get more... Yeah, sure. I'll take that. So we're hunting monsters. That we can do. We're not going to have all our gear repaired, unfortunately, and we've still got some injuries, but... We're not missing any health, which is important. Bjarn is just in such a bad way. He's just so beat up. Poor bastard. Um, oh, I should give my axe guys... Oops. That's not what I meant to do. I should give my axe guys knives as well. Um, because that way, if we find someone with really nice armor, we can have everyone get daggers out. And, like, if we can um, get someone with really nice armor to be fleeing, we can just surround him with daggers and just kind of brutus him to death. Now, hunting monsters. Oh, well, there's the tracks right there. That shouldn't be too hard. Six dire wolves. Okay. Um, hmm. Less than ideal. If we're lucky, they won't be able to get into melee on the first turn. They're not lucky. Crud. If we'd had a chance there, putting Guntram up on the high ground might have been really good for us, but we're not going to be able to do that. They are all going up the north side. Which I'm actually okay with, because that means I can kind of keep Bjarn out of the fight. 
Unless I really, really need him. Alright, archers. Let's see... What you can do? There we go. That was a bit of damage there. Alright, let's start wrapping around. So, I guess we'll have Baldur's Spear Wall, so they can't fill in either of these two gaps. And we can actually have Hildebert come up here in Spear Wall. Do I want to do that, though? Because they're just going to start beating on Guntram and Labrecht if I do that. No, I think we're better off just engaging. Okay, so... I can't move into melee and attack them, though, unfortunately. Alright, I think we're going to have to go with Spear Walls just so that I can try and get them into a better position for us to engage. So if Alaric goes here in Spear Walls, he's covering these three spaces, meaning I can put Hildebert like there. And I guess that'll be his turn. Uh, Guntram... Guntram has Rally? I forgot who Guntram was, and I'm pretty sure I was supposed to switch him with Baldur, like, position-wise, just so he'd be better positioned for this, but, uh... I forgot to do that. And you're gonna shield wall, because you're not in a great spot, and I want to keep you alive. Labrecht. Not doing great on these hits today. Um... So, Baldur and Bjarn can actually step in and force the fight if I really want, but I really... Bjarn is super low health, and he's still kind of injured, so... Try and keep him out of it as best I can. Good start there. There we go. There we go. Alric knows what's up. Alric knows what's up. <laughs> this poor wolf. They have so many... Hey, don't go for my archers. On Guntram, yes. Guntram's got it under control. Labrex, slightly less under control. They are going around for my archers, and I do not appreciate that in the slightest. All right, Hildbert. Uh, I'm going to swing you and Alric up here. And we're actually going to start taking some... Wow, why is your range skill so terrible? Oh, you're new, aren't you? Okay, I'm going to have to train you some. Get some volleys into these chumps. Are any of these guys injured? No, they're not. Alright, well, I need to deal with these guys first. I have much luck with the archers today. Yeah, just go for this guy. Nope. 60, 60. Nope. Okay, that's... Not fantastic. Okay, come on, guys. This is getting a little bit ridiculous. Alright, Alric, I need you... Yeah, I should have moved my archers back. Crud. I didn't think about that. Alright, well, let's get Ulrich over here. Let's see if he can't defend. And Baldur with the Ancient Spear. There we go. Finally managed to land a hit. Oh, he's got the high ground. Okay, nobody's hitting today. There, there it is. Okay, I can't get him out of that fight. He's probably about to go down. Yep. Oh, God. Come on. Come on. This is getting ridiculous. I've hit, like, two attacks, and they've all been above a 50% hit chance. Labyrinth is just dead. <sighs> nope. Oh, right. You can fire your crossbow melee. There we go. Finally. Uh, eat. Nope. Alright, I need you to do something here, but I'm not entirely sure what. Because you're currently surrounded. I'm actually just going to have your shield wall. And Alric. Come up and... There we go. Alright, so we got that dire wolf to break. There we go. Once, once our hit chance sinks below 50% is when we start hitting everything, I see. Okay, good. Two of them are broken. Roderick is amazing at dodging, apparently. He just does not care. Guntram, on the other hand, is having a slightly rougher day. Not quite as bad as Labyrinth, but uh, very few people are. There we go. Alright, you need to get your short sword out here. And uh, I'm just going to put you in parry stance. And we'll hope for the best. Nope. Oh, you can hit over these guys' heads. Right. There we go. Um, I want you to come around like so. There we go. Just so I could get Hildebert into the fight there. 
Uh, Gundrum, you're just gonna keep shield falling. That's like your job right now. It's just to stay alive. There we go. Yarn is now doing spectacularly, now that his hit chance is under 60. I... I just don't know. There we go. Okay, that one broke. Alright, so there's only two left. Guntram's shield is almost gone. At least Roderick's okay. Alright, let's close in on this guy. There we go. Um... Not really much else for the archers to do at this point. We can't get them into a position to effectively attack that guy. Um, I guess we can just take a shot at this one. And Bjorn. Nope. Come on. We, okay. That didn't do any damage. I was really hoping we could break in there. Okay. Well, that guy tried to run away. Oh, please don't kill Guntram. Oh, Jesus. That was scary. Okay, come on, guys. This is ridiculous. He's, like, surrounded and fleeing in terror. He shouldn't be this hard to hit. Um, archers can just... Do nothing. Uh, yeah, Bjorn, if you just wanna... There we go. There we go. Okay, good. He broke. Ah, oh, jeez. Alright, let's get all up around him. He's gonna try and run away, but we can catch him. Archers don't need to do anything. Hildebert, I guess you can get in on this. Ranolf, you've got your bow out. Roderick needs to have his bow out. There we go. Just so I don't forget that and accidentally start a battle without his weapon ready. There we go. Alright, so Labrec died. We're probably not getting any of his gear back either. Oh, we got his helmet. And his two-handed axe, which don't really need, but I'll take it. And we got a bunch of wolf pelts that we can at least sell for some decent money. Plus, we're gonna get paid well. Huzzah! We got 490 crowns and same kind of longer as disappearing villagers, so we might actually be able to get some decent prices here. No. Tools are still ridiculously expensive. Medical supplies are okay. Um, and we don't really need medical supplies, so that's good. I'm just gonna sell these wolf pelts to them. Alright, so if we want tools, we should go back to the town we were just at, because they had a pretty good price for tools. Um, we should get throwing nets here. Ooh. Yeah, I'm going to get that. That's inexpensive, and I can make good use of it if I remember to do so. Oh, and people level up. Bjarn, you, my axe man, you're going to get executioner. And plus two melee skill, plus two melee defense. Those are both good. Yeah, over 100 fatigue would be good for our frontline guys. Alric, Spear and Shield Fighter. Oh, Guntram needs to be here. There we go. He needs to be a little bit more centralized so that he can rally people properly. Now, you could probably use some more defensive stuff. If you're going to be a, uh, a sergeant, I just want to keep you alive. So let's get you... Oh, you didn't level up. Oh, no, you didn't. I was looking at Alric, wasn't I? You get Colossus. Because you're just going to be big and tanky. Big and tanky. No plus to melee defense, though. That's unfortunate. You need more resolve. Um, also, I would love to give him more melee defense. Yeah, we'll give him some ranged defense. Can't hurt. All right. So that's that sorted. Um, we could use another two-handed weapon fighter if we can find one in town. Um... We could also use some food. We got a beggar, we've got a killer on the run. Those guys can cause problems if you hire them, but they can also be quite good. And I think they have a bonus to hit chance to the head, if I remember correctly. Let's hire him. See what he's got. Um, yeah, higher chance to hit the head. Fantastic. That is actually kind of perfect. And he's got pretty good melee skill. So here, have a two-handed axe and a helmet and somebody's armor. Ugh, we lost all our good armor. I'm really sad. Okay, I need your surcoat, Randolph, because we're going to need to swap some of this gear around here. And Alric gets this. You get the padded leather. And then Randolph gets this leather tunic. You should be okay, though. Oh, and the net should go to one of our spear and shield fighters here. Who has the highest range skill? Guntrum. 
Sure, Gunshrim can have a... Oh, Gunshrim's already got a bunch of stuff, though. Crud. I didn't think that through. Alright, well, we can give it to our backline guys, because they also have high range skill. They can just throw it kind of over the line, I guess. Alrighty. Um, we also need some provision. Actually, with all the money we have... Hang on, was this a caravan escort or a delivery? It's a delivery. Okay. So, I'm actually going to accept this. And we're going to buy some provisions. And we should have more than enough crowns to actually make it up to... Whatever that town was called. It's name I forgot. Summerstead? Something like that. Uh, let's get some... Well, cured venison's expensive, but it'll probably make people happy. Yeah, I'll get some cured venison. And some bread? There we go. Three desert provisions should last us. Especially since we're not going to be going at slow caravan speeds this time. And then hopefully we can find some tools somewhere. Alright, so what's our best path to get to Summerstad? Because if we can... Where is Summerstad? It's under the thing, isn't it? No, where is it? There it is. Okay. Off we go. Oh. Baldur got drunk and lost a bludgeon. Crud. Okay, whatever. Bludgeons are not super big. I don't really care that much. Uh, he's unhappy about something. Okay, well, whatever. Hey, we got our 510 crowns. It's also the middle of the night. So there's a ah, three skull contract. I don't want to take that. Well, um, let's wait until morning. There we go. All right. Um, do you guys sell tools at a reasonable rate? Because no, that's the opposite of a reasonable rate. God damn it. I need tools. <laughs> oh boy. What does this always happen to me? This, guy, this place sells like nothing. Look at them. They have the marketplace, which sells barely anything. I guess they've got medical supplies for an okay price. Um, that's about it. That's all they've got. They've also got furs and peat bricks, I guess, if you really want any of those. Um, how's our morale doing? Because we could, yeah, let's stop off at the tavern. Everybody's, nobody's unhappy, but nobody's exactly happy either. There we go. That should help out. And what's his contract? He wants me to escort a caravan to Dunkelwald. For 30 crowns in advance, another 120 of the job is done. Sure, I don't want to be in this town. This town kind of sucks. And this guy's basically paying me to leave, so yeah. Yeah, I'll take it. Dunkelwald in the southwest. I really hope that's not far away. Let me just make, make sure he's not sending us like across the map or something ridiculous. Oh no, Dunkelwald's right there. Alright, cool. Away we go. Go on, caravan. Aha! Erdfall, you're passing through on our way to Dunkelwald, has tools for a very good price. Finally. So medical supplies for an exorbitant price, but I'm not expecting to be lucky enough to find tools and medical supplies for a good price. Well, that was exciting. We made it to Dunkelwald. Do you guys have anything of value? This place doesn't have any buildings other than the market, but they sell a bunch of stuff. Um, they also have tools for a pretty good price. Wow! Oh, I'm buying some of these medical supplies. Look at that. They're selling them for under 200. Holy shit. Give me, give me a bunch of those. I'm just gonna... Jesus. Um, there's not a lot else here other than a three skull contract, which we can take if it's like a delivery or something. Uh, some dude wants something. He wants us to go clear out some ruins. No, oh, there's no way we are kitted out enough for that. Um, is there anyone in town worth hiring? There is, actually, but we can't afford them. Having a bowyer would be quite nice. Or a hunter. Level 2 hunter would be good. Oh, well. Such is life. At least we found medical supplies for cheap, and we have our armor repaired. Uh, we haven't been to a bunch of towns over here, but... Let's see. Stone Citadel. Stone Keep. Stone Keep. Some huts, so that's a small village. I just realized I have the camera locked, so I can't rotate. There we go. Um, we've been to basically a lot of the places that we would want to be. We've been to like both of the large village, large cities on the map. Oh well, I guess we'll just make our way back south again. 
Ah, good. Another one-star contract. Um, he wants us to track down some brigands. Eh, yeah, sure, why not? 40 crowns, 160 when the job is done. Ah, man, we are making, like, no money. We need to find more, uh, two-star contracts. Those are about what we're set for at the moment. Well, let's go track down these brigands, I guess. Where? There they are. Wow, there's five of them. Huzzah, we got them. A brigand thug and... Oh, it's gonna be four brigand raiders and a brigand thug. That's unfortunate, but they don't have much in the way of shields or ranged weapons, so it's actually not terrible. On the other hand, this map is terrible. Oh, dear. Oh, that's not pleasant. Okay. Well, um, I don't even know if we can... Because our archers are in, like, a really weird spot right now. At least two of them are. Fritz is in a fine, fine spot. Um, yeah, shoot the guy with the pike at the bottom there. Unfortunately, Fritz is also our worst archer. So, him being in the best spot doesn't really help us a whole lot. Roderick's just gonna have to wait. Um, we're just gonna have to play this out from where we are. Oh, they got thrown axes. Please don't throw things at me. Um. Okay, if we move our front line up slightly, we can get our archers on the high ground at least. Um, importantly, I also want to get Hilmar out of his current spot. Because he's in just the worst spot imaginable. I guess we'll just have him step up and smack this dude. If he can pull that off. Um, Hildebert, on the other hand. Uh, I guess we'll just shift everyone down in this way slightly. Just so we can try and get a better spot here. Uh, what are you going to do, Balder? Well, if Hilmar is coming up here, I guess we'll put Balder... Alder can actually circle around behind this guy and start stabbing him. So, it's a good plan. Pike dude, on the other hand, is a concern. I guess we're just going to have to move up to fight him, because I do not want him to start stabbing people. Um, let's see, how do we want to do this? Well, if we can get Bjarne up on the high ground there, that will be perfect. But Guntram is just going to get in and try and keep this dude busy. Stop him from getting away. He's probably got swap places. Um, which is unfortunate, but there's not much we can do about it. If we can get Bjarne up on the high ground, there's not going to be anywhere he can swap to to save himself, so... That's all fine. Hilmar, can you actually get out of there? Yes, you can. Okay, good. Uh, Alric, you're going to come up here. And spear wall. Bjarne, coming up here. Okay, good. That guy's morale is dropped slightly. And Roderick, you can... Wait, shit, I don't want to do that. Pike bro is going to shoot me, or stab me from there. Okay, you're going to come up here. I'm just going to get you out of the way so you don't get piked. Yeah, use all your throwing axes from back there, please. I would love you if you did that. No, don't come closer. All right, Hildebert. Um, it's time to close the gap here just a little bit. Clink. All right, crossbows. 50... I don't have much luck with range weapons today. Alright. Fritz. Um, can you... Yes, you can take a shot at that guy, and you only risk hitting the pikeman, which I'm fine with. Hey, you hit the pikeman. Good, good. Uh, Randolph, you also need to get up on the high ground here. You, unfortunately, can't move in such a way that you will not be immediately stabbed by a pike, though. So, um, we're gonna nix that. And you are going to shoot that guy. Or miss. That works too. Alright, 200 x guy is moving himself to a spot where I can easily engage him. Okay. I need to get rid of this pike. There we go. Oh, come on, Bjarn. Uh, Alright, well, let's step in and fight 200 Axe Guy here. He is no armor and no shield, so, you know. Okay, it's a bold strategy. Ah, that's not good. Um, we can sort of surround this guy now. And I guess we'll have Alric just go and shield pull in front of this dude for a bit. There we go. Crossbow. There we go. Oh, he's broken. Okay, cool. That is perfect. That means I can move you 
up to surround Pike Bro. Throwing X guy continues to not really do a whole lot. Um, you. Yeah, just take a shot at the guy at the back there, I guess. Not really expecting you to hit anything. That That's your turn, Fritz. You can. Thank you. Uh, what can Ranulf do? Can you even see any of these guys? You can see that guy. Not that he can hit him. Ow! He's just dead. Straight up dead. This is why I wanted to get rid of Pike Guy. Oh my god, he's not dying. He's so heavily armored. Alright, Alric, if you could just get in to this guy. Just keep him busy. Okay, that dude didn't get away. Alright, we've got the high ground, so... There we go. Alric is not having a good day, though. There we go. Alright, Pike dude down. Roderick, you're going to come up here, because you're going to start shooting these dudes when you get a chance. Um, Fritz, you can just come... Actually, up here, I guess, should be fine. And Ranolf can finally move up. Poor bastard. See, this is... If there's one thing I thought was missing from this game, it would be the ability to kind of deploy your troops at the start, so you don't end up with really weird situations like, why would I have my archer there ever? Even if we were just marching through this area, there's nowhere to go from that spot. Like, it's just... The, the whole just deploy in a line every time is kind of weird. Alright, Bjarn. There we go. Alright, he's injured, so Bjarn should have bonus damage against him. I would have Elric Shield Wall, but he is too fatigued to do that. That is unfortunate. Elric is probably going to have a bad day. There we go. Some crossbowing going here. Um, yeah, Fritz, I'm actually going to move you to here. Not that, that really helps at all. There we go. Alright, that's all of that sorted. Renolf. Uh, yeah, just get everybody, everybody pile in here. You can finally shield wall, Alric. This is good. And Bjarn, you're coming up here as well. Try and keep everybody on the high ground as much as I can. Oh, Alric's still alive, so that's good. Everybody. Just gonna wrap around this brigand, and hopefully he will break. Hopefully we can hit him. Hopefully we can hit him. Um, God, I wish I'd switch places so I could swap with Alric here, but uh, no dice, unfortunately. Everybody. Putting Bjarn there might be a little bit of a risk, but I think Brigand's going to try and kill Alric anyways, so. Come on, break. And there goes Alric. Yep, he's just dead dead. One skull contract. Can we please? We have this guy surrounded. There we go. Okay, well, two people died, and we probably lost their gear. Although we did get a male coif and padded leathers. And a pike. Okay, not too bad. And let's go get paid. That was unpleasant. Huzzah, we got 160 crowns for that. Not a great deal, in all honesty, but such is life. And that, I think, is where I'm going to call it for today. So, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye. <laughs>